No more bitch arms for me. Huh. That was always my biggest weak point was my arms. Not anymore, dude. <laughs> They're all right. Huh? They're all right. I mean, we're always like, you know, critical and judgmental of ourselves. <laughs> no. If you're not, you're like, yeah, they're good. <laughs> you know? It's like upper chest. Very few people have like, fuck, dude, you need to back off your arms. Like, I know a couple of guys in competition space, but it's a rarity. Yeah. You step on stage. We're talking like somewhere around 200. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. fucking lean. Pretty lean. Yeah. Um, that's just what we're guessing. I don't know my exact body fat percentage. I never tested it. He can. So. We, they have one here, but after you work out, you probably have to wait a few hours. Yeah. Well, the best ones are those DEXA scan or. Compared to the. Oh, it's yeah. extremely accurate. Yeah. It's like a DEXA scan, like almost. It's DEXA scan's a little more accurate because like an X-ray. Yeah. But the uh, Air Matrix is like <laughs> next best thing. Yeah. Okay. Accuracy. Yeah. We like to use it as basically like as a you know for numbers and accuracy for clients when we're making yeah, results at the beginning. Yeah. Me getting ready for a competition, I get down to like four, four and a half percent. And when I realized this about 10 years ago, I did a show and I was like, said I was 13.5 and I was like two weeks out from a show. I'm yeah, like, no get way. the fuck out of here. This is a joke, you know? <laughs> yeah, so I was like, we're not, this is not, it's not the standard, you know? Yeah, I was talking to my boy who has like some kind of thing you grab onto. Yeah. He's like, oh, I didn't drink water all day. And I said I, is it the in body? Something like, he I mean, they, up a they do the Nutri Shot. Yeah. 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 The How are those? So what's your opinion on those? It's kind of the same thing as the handheld one. <clears throat> it's like a free test. You know, people yeah. come buy supplements yeah. and they get this test. But we compare those side by side and there's not a lot of accuracy there. Yeah. What I like to do is make it kind of like the standard itself made. Not only give them the numbers to be like, hey, this is where you're at. It's like, and it could be like, hey, dude, like, Despite how you feel about yourself, like these numbers yeah, aren't numbers looking are good, lie, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But like guys like us, you know, we want to get better. Yeah, so it's yeah. like you could use it as even for someone like to increase where you want to go to next, that next level, right? And for me, I've done that over and over and over again. And, you know, it's, it's been very valuable for myself included. But what's tough about strength and certain things you hit, like once you get to that level, man, it's like oh, everything yeah. else pales in comparison. <laughs> I already made peace with the fact I'm never going to be as strong as I used to be. Well, Hey, yeah, those days never are say over. never. <laughs> uh, I hit 225, 54 times on bench one time. Fuck. Like those days are in the past. That's you know? the combine, dude. Yeah, I warm up. Like I'll just warm up the muscle that I'm working out. So like, if okay, we're gonna do like the first exercise of the first body part. I'll just crank on it. Yeah. I'll just hit like 30, 40, 50, 60 reps. Yeah. And then like I'll get into it. You yeah. know. So sometimes two, depending on what the muscle group is and how I feel as I get older. Yeah. Um, sometimes two warm up sets. But like that's why I'll just pick like okay we're gonna do arms but we'll start over here and then that will be my warm up you know. We're starting out with dumbbell bicep overhead. Yeah. We'll be supersetting all these. The first actual movement will be the Smith machine close grip bench slow tempo. Yeah, I like so that. I I know you do a lot of slow tempo because yeah. I, was, I was checking out your video. Yeah. So slow and controlled obviously is really what builds the size and strength when you overload it, um, as you know from the building the strength. So yeah. we'll. We'll do this, four sets of eight, slow tempo with a half second pause at the bottom. And then the barbell bicep curl, which we'll come over here and do that. Cool. So we'll start with the Smith machine though, after we do the warm up. So really the, the warm up, dumbbell bicep curl. Dumbbell right? bicep curls with overhead extension. So just, so just beat both forward, those, like yeah. Bang out, bang out. Yeah. Some reps. Yeah. On the top of my hand, yeah. like, that's how it healed, and like it's like changed the structure of my wrist when it healed. Like it's freaking hit by a car. Yeah. I was changing lanes. I was like, boom, boom, car, fucking hit the ground. When I hit the ground, I broke it. Boom, yeah. just on impact. But then I got up and it was like like a dog that gets hit by a car. I'm like, like, yeah. I mean, I was like, I'm good. Yeah. You know, I'm like, cars are like coming up. Like, hey man, you okay? I'm like, no, yeah, I'm fucking good. I'm good. Yeah. You know. I like turn around, my bike's like 15 yards behind me, facing yeah. the wrong direction. I'm like, ah, fuck. Walk over, try to fucking reverse squat that motherfucker, and I couldn't hold on. Uh, I was like, fuck. But you didn't even feel it yet. I knew it was hurt, but I didn't know it was broken, you know? And uh, 
I just couldn't get it up. Guy pulls up in a Honda right by me. He's like, hey, bro, like I ride, let me help you. I'm like, cool. So I get out, throw the kicks in. We stand the bike up. And I'm like, man, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Fuck this, you know, like, I'm not gonna stand on the freeway. So I'm like, fuck, went over it, fucking boom, it fires up. Jump on that fucker and fucking took off, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah, the car was gone. So like, I don't know, they're, they're fucking gone, you know? Like, you know, I, I don't place those labels on things, you know, but it, it, it was weird. Like, I, I, I was like a house cat. Like, I fucking tumbled. Like, even my helmet was off, my clothes, I burned like a hole through my pocket. Um, I threw my leg on this side, my gloves, and, but even it didn't go all the way down. Yeah. And then, yeah, I just ripped open my forearms, yeah. but I landed on my feet. Yeah. Like, I, like I was like landed and I was like running. And I was like, what like, the, what like, the fuck? Yeah. and then you're like kind of like embarrassed almost. Like, man, what the fuck? I just want to get the hell out of here, you know? <laughs>
Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. I knew yeah, Orlando. Away, I was right? friends with Orlando, yeah. Dude, that motherfucker. Tank. Is a beast, bro. Best ADC, I've ever seen. ADCC world champ. Yeah, he was one of the best yeah. I've ever seen. Fucking yeah. dude was a, like, and if you met him, cool motherfucker, dude. ADCC world yeah. champ. Yeah, in, in, in Brazil. Yep. Yeah, he did some fucking crazy, yeah, like, watch his videos and shit, like, his moves are fucking insane. Well, you know, he got in a fight with uh, Sean Strickland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. That's funny, dude's like, what, 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 you yeah. know? But, like, like, you ain't gonna fuck up Orlando, so I don't know, like, yeah. he... Like you see Sean like running away. Yeah. He's like, what, what? Like, you know, like, well, stand there, Sean, and bang if you want to, you know. <laughs> but like Orlando, like Orlando would build like a fucking tank, yeah. you know. Like that dude. That dude was a beast. Yeah, and he, he was a bodybuilder at one time. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know too much about him. I just, I mean, I know. Yeah. I, I started following him after that incident. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. Followed him because I, I, I started getting into grappling yeah. and stuff. So. I knew him years before that, you know. I started watching him. Dude, yeah, he was. Crazy cauliflower ears, yeah. you know, but like super chill, like super yeah. cool fucking dude, you know. Like if you knew him personally, you're like, oh, dude, this is a fucking great guy. Three years, okay. And uh, so I, I worked with Matt. He's a buddy of mine too, but I worked with him last year. Yeah. He taught me all kinds of stuff. There you go. Yeah, Milos is old school, man. Oh fuck, that guy's a fucking machine. Legend. Especially in the posing space for classic. Because there ain't nothing to do it but to do it. So. Well, in that case, put a couple more plates on that for you, bro. <laughs> Lightweight. <laughs> I told you yeah, I'm getting buddy. old. <laughs> I never even seen the plates like this with the handles. Yeah, these are actually from the machines, the original. I've, I've never seen those, bro. They're actually made by Hampton, which is yeah. a block and a half away. I'm not a big fan of Hampton, honestly. No. Yeah. But interesting, like, like mechanism, well, you know? Interestingly enough, the 35s, you don't see any of them, actually, because they fucking failed. They, they broke at the handle. Uh, and They're blue know, handle. Most, a lot of gyms won't even carry 35s anymore. Yeah, I mean... Uh, like, just 25 and a 10. What do yeah. you need a 35 for? <laughs> good. That's good tempo. Well, that's how I want you to do it on the next one. Good. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So like, Good breathe. That's it. Rip. Keep your elbows in tight. There you go. Good. That's it. Push this. That's it. Come on, let's go. Nice. Come on. Good. Yeah. Good. That's it. Come on. Good. Solid. That was three for you guys? Yeah, three or four. That was my last one, four. So you guys four. got one more. Four? four? Yeah. All right, you guys are good. men are lacking that yeah 100 percent. it's a common denominator well i learned so when i was 18 24 hour fitness in thousand oaks i was approached by a guy named brett gold mm -hmm. and he was like a masters olympia like classic physique guy and he's also a karate dude out of like malibu and i was working out like six days a week in high school I'm, like the only kid in there you know and so he's like hey man let me talk to you one night he's like in his 50s and he was old he had gray hair you know but he was like 180 pounds shredded yeah. And he's like, let me teach you a couple of things. Okay. So he taught me that incline Smith machine exercise that I highlighted on my page. Like, yeah, yeah. Right, where you like over exaggerate your elbows yeah. coming on the way down. Yeah. And it just stretches and pulls muscle fiber that you never felt before. Yeah. So that way you can recruit it for yeah. fire, you know? And uh, so I learned that at 18. 
Yeah. And I always like seem to help like the upper shelf, you know, but. I mean, for me, that's when I got my injuries back when I was like 14, 15, just training too heavy. Yeah. Trying to wow out with some weight I shouldn't have been the ego, working out ego, with. Yeah. Ego is a powerful thing. Yeah. <laughs> you pay for it for a long time. A few years on him. Yeah. It's just a few more years in the gym. I'm an old man, man. Yeah, exactly. These veins were in hiding for a long time. They're excited to be out here. You know, it's funny. I used to think that too when I was younger. And I trained with the older guy, you know, Danny Hester. So he's from Ventura County, okay. but he actually got me into competing he the, bodybuilding. He was the first ever Mr. Olympia class, class physique, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So he's from, he went to Buena. He's from the area, but he's a wrestler. But bro, the first time I met that guy, I was like, this guy looked like an anatomy, like structure, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But he was just, bro, I've been working out for 30 fucking years. And he told me, he's like, dude, just muscle maturity. That's all it is. Of course. So for me, I always look and appear to be very lean from the elbows down. But the same thing. It's just, it's just years in the gym, dude. So over years and years, your veins get thicker and thicker? You just get more dense muscle, you know? And it's, it's, it's categorized as muscle maturity, which is basically just more structural. I'm, I'm more of like a more vascular anyways. Yeah. Um, when I got a, went to jail, like there would be... A, you know, the addicts in there would be like, fucking, their eyes would light up. <laughs> they're, like, uh, they're like, fuck, that's like a, a junkie's dream, dude. That, that guy, Sam Sulik, though, I don't know, man. That guy's going to be... He reminds me a little bit of Boston Lloyd. I don't know if you remember that Boston Lloyd kid. Yeah. I, I, well, I heard about him after he died. Yeah, after he passed away, right? And he, I mean, it was like a big joke for him, like Team, team C, 3CC <laughs> and all that. Like, oh, damn, I bro. actually think a lot of it, dude, is just people are just waiting for the... The explosion happened. I guess yeah. the kind of, you know, that's why so many people watch it because they're just like, dude, this kid's a ticking time bomb. Yeah. I mean, no. maybe, maybe not, but I think that's why I love, they get a lot of views and a lot of attraction because it's like, I mean. But that's how the world works now, you know? Well, Everything's publicity. I mean, yeah. You're not thinking about the next five, ten fucking years, you know? No, yeah. When he's 30, or if he ever makes it, like, what's his health going to look like? You know? Well, I mean, the good news is the way the world's going, we're all going to be robots anyway, so I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like they're basically saying if you can live five more years, you're going to live forever. Yeah. When I was younger, I was like, fucking, let's go, you know, whatever yeah. it takes. And now it's kind of like, well, the guys I compete against, dude, I've seen them literally come from behind me until all this and pass me up and go in front of me, and the only difference was drugs, dude. Yeah. So for me, I'm a hard worker, dude. That's like my shit. So yeah. it's like for me, if I can't do it like that, then I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. You I mean, know? like for me, I just take what I feel is like the smallest amount. Yeah. That gives me just enough to like, I can show up every day. Bro, in the last five, six years, I know because I compete with these guys, like the stuff that they've done just to get to the level yeah. of like top five Olympia, top five Arnold is, oh, it's, it's, it's tremendously more. Of course. And the level of judging went through the roof too. So yeah. it's like for me, it's not really worth it to me, you know? Yeah. I love bodybuilding, but not to the point where it's gonna, you know, sacrifice my health in the next five, 10 years, yeah. you know? <laughs> I think it's important to look at that, but these guys aren't looking at the next five, 10 years. They're looking at like what, like I wanna win now. Yeah. And I get it, man, I have that same mindset, you yeah, know? Yeah. But you, you have to like look down the road, you know? Like even yeah. with business and being an entrepreneur, you have to think like, what's the long game, right? A lot of the stuff that we do today is really playing those seeds forever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. I know guys that do like Rice Krispie treats and They're shit, but much, yeah. I try not to go like too crazy with the carbs before, but I have like this liquid, it's like a it, 28 grams of carbs, but in liquid form. Yeah. It's a uh, production or some shit. It's called Pump Script. It's not listed on there as like an ingredient, but I have no idea where the carbs are coming from. The first ingredient on there is water, right? But it has 23,000 milligrams of like this glycerin, whatever. Glycerol. Yeah, it's like a yeah. Glycerol. That shit, so that I love probably glycerol. has the carbs in it, maybe. Glycerol, I love glycerol. Glycerol is. You're can't get the right there. Yeah. When you say curlist, what would that be? Yeah, but like I would curl with you. Okay. And basically, you tag team it. Yeah. So.
going to do uh, over there the Bar Barbara Pre Preacher. So three sets, super sets. So basically back and forth three times. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So then we'll finish with the machine bicep curl and cable reverse. Same, uh, same like rep and set and pace and. So this is a little bit faster. So it's like a four second tempo to three in here and then it goes faster three seconds which is like normal tempo okay. so 15 reps on the triceps 12. 15 over here and he's on right there you'll see so overhead behind yeah. like this so 15 and then there, there we're that. yeah 12 so we'll just there. superset those three and just go back and forth right. smash them cool yeah Most people that have real money, the first thing they fucking tell you, don't buy depreciating assets. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think a car is? You know, like, I, I do think you could leverage that both directions. I think for me, I've done like the opposite of impulse control. Yeah. Like all knows, I drive a fucking truck that's like 17 years old, right? Yeah. And then I could have had a hundred thousand dollar truck, you know. So for me, I'm a car guy too. So it's yeah. kind of like I don't want the payment. Yeah. But also too, I think. Guys like us, either way, we could get a car like that, and sometimes, in some cases, it'll shift your identity 100%. to like not make you value yourself more. But a lot of us come from just like, like I said, just like super introverted, super low confidence. I had long hair; I was picked on. Yeah. So, like for me, it's not that I need the car, but it kind of changes the way I think about myself and reinforces like looking at the stack of things you've done. And when you doubt yourself, like all of us do, like you can look at that stack of shit and be like. Well, it's obvious why I'm here, right? Yeah. But sometimes you get in like the, the poor mindsets, which we'll talk about later today, which is one of my favorite topics, the yeah. mindset, because your mindset drives everything, you know? It drives your identity, it drives the amount of people that we help, and it could be, it could drive you to levels you never thought were possible, but also could put you in the fucking worst places possible, which is, I think we've all been there, yeah. you know? Um, but a car is kind of like, I agree with you completely, like you don't need that shit, in those 600 days, like you said, dude, nothing will buy that. You can't earn that, you can't borrow it. Yeah. You know, the only way to get it is actually go through the fucking, the pain and discomfort. And I have the most respect for that. You know, me personally, because I come from nothing, being 125 pounds, skinny, yeah. just a little fucking, just a piece of shit, dude. You know, and the only thing that got me out of that was my own, basically the, the 6,000 days, right? Yeah. Or whatever it was to get to the point you know where I'm at, and I feel like there's still more to go, but it humbles you, right? Yeah. Because yeah. there's guys, like you said, that are fucking worth a billion dollars, and they can't get what you did in the last two years. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was just trying to, like, prove it to myself. Yeah. I didn't even know the number. I told people for, like, a long time, like, oh, it's, it's X amount of months. Yeah. You know, and then when I finally identified the number, it was 487. Yeah. And I was like, damn, like fucking 500's on the horizon. Well, uh, you know? You know, like, it, you know what's so powerful about that, dude, is, is Ed Milet talks a lot about this, is, is it's the promise you keep to yourself. Yeah. Not like, oh, or me, or one of your clients, or your wife, or kids, but like, for me, it was about the 530 thing. Yeah. I have the, the freedom now to work out midday, like other times, no offense to the midday workout right now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, for me, that was a laziness that I had to be honest with myself that I was gonna, how I raise my standard, right? And every year we have to, because we're the leader yeah. in the coaching spaces, right? So like, how do we do that? And it's like, for me, it wasn't about the baby staying up all night or how late I stayed up, because that was something that I, I chose. But it's getting up and making that promise that I keep to myself over and over and over again and not missing. Yeah. Like, you know, your, your, your hand say, dude. It's yeah. like, you have to remind yourself, because at the end of the day, who's really gonna reap the reward or not? It's John, right? It's not anybody fucking else except for you. And I think that that's true leadership, but it's also like, it's the promise you keep to yourself that it's, it's just a natural 
you know, confidence that surpasses anything, you well, know? Ryan, like, I don't take for granted that there was a guy that I had to listen to, and it was his fucking routine where I was like, oh, fuck, that's badass. Like, like okay, I want to be like that. Yeah. Like, it was a 245 wake-up. It wasn't burpees all the time, but it was a 245 yeah. wake-up, and it was an emphasis on I'm always first, I'm this, I'm that. And it was like, okay, I respect that part of it. The rest of the story yeah. was just, you know, glitz and glamour, yeah. and it was a shiny object. But that part of it resonated with me, and I was like, fuck, that's what I respect, because that's yeah. fucking hard to do. Absolutely. Right? So I just started doing it. Yeah. When, but then I became the leader, like you said. I got my own clients, and I got people that hit me up all day long. Yeah. Please don't stop. Thank you for your motivation. Yeah, dude. So now it's not about me anymore. Yeah, and they it's got about, fuel. Like, I was given the gift to look like this, to be like this, to live like this. I have to pass it on. Yeah. Like, that's what God gave me. Well, and to right? think, dude, there's, a, there's other people that are paralyzed from the waist down, or they can't train legs, or they fucking live on $2 a day, right? Which yeah. is two-thirds of the world lives on $2 a day. something I remind myself constantly. We talked about that last time. And the thing is, dude, if you remind yourself of those little things, it changes your perspective instantly. Of course. And then it allows you to not bitch and complain, because we all bitch and complain inside internally with a mindset, and there's no excuses, right? If you not look at yourself and be proud of what you see in the mirror and what you're creating, I mean, there's no excuse for that. I have no like pity for someone who's like, oh, like I don't have the time. I think you did a post the other day I was reading, yeah. listening to is like, there's an excuse like assholes, right? Everyone's got one. Yeah. And you could list off the reasons why not to do it. But I tend to lean on the side of all the reasons to do it. And for me, there's, there's so minimal excuses and reasons not to, because we're so gift. I mean, we got the YouTube, the Instagram, dude. I mean, we're so blessed and the, and the, the luxuries that we have to really create an impact and a financial legacy too for our family and impact and difference. I mean, dude, there's just really no, there's no room to bitch complain. And when you do, you gotta fucking nip it in the butt like right away, you know? Well, that's to the change hardest it. part for everybody. Yeah. Because that voice is always there. Yeah. Even for me. There's days, like, not every yeah. day I wake up and I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. Sometimes I wake up, I'm like, God, mother, like, yeah. I'm so I don't feel like I'm on Same, any day. Yeah. But, like, this is who I am now. Yeah. Like I, like I said, like, I, I can't take for granted why I'm even on this planet. Yeah. Like, I got the, some of the craziest fucking backstories you ever heard, you well, know? Well, like, to think, too, John, like, think about how limited it is. Like, all this is going to be in oh, like that. So, like, 100%. we better squeeze out everything before it's over, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we're dead. Your shit's so up, I'm starting to going. <laughs> I guess.